Today I'm going to be making some wax seals and a project using the wax seal of the month from Spellbinders. This month it is congrats on your new chapter and it is a square wax seal unlike the um, oval and circular ones that we normally get. So let's go ahead and pop this out of the package. I've also got some new wax beads. The ones I'm going to be using today are twilight purple and I think that color is just so 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 pretty. So let's go ahead and take a look at the wax seal and then start heating up some of our beads. So there we go. Like I said it is a square. This one is going to be kind of fun. Yeah. Okay, so this is all ready to pour. So let's go ahead and pour out our first seal. And I only put four beads in, which is usually the amount that I need, but I don't know for sure with this square seal. So we'll see. And it looks like I didn't quite get it centered, but that should still be okay. So it feels like it is cool enough and there we go. And this is a purple color. I'm going to have to see if I can adjust the camera a little bit because you really can't see the color. This has more red in it than what you're seeing there. So let me adjust that real quick. Okay, so that is a little better. It's still not quite the right color, but at least now it does look purple. Let's go ahead and pour another one and see if I can get it closer to the right shape. Um, I think I didn't have quite enough wax down on one side and I put it down a little bit off kilter, but that's still fine. I think it still looks cool. Okay, so this one did go down straight down into the middle and we're going to let that cool and we're going to go ahead and make a few more because I can't do just two, right? So I am attempting <laughs> to use a paint marker to make it so that the um, words are a little more visible. Now I did try it out on one. I wasn't as careful, but this one, I, you can still read it. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to try it on another one, see if I can get a little bit better. First priming it off to the side. This is from um, Deco, is it? Um, da, 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 da. Anyway, it's a Deco marker. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm not even sure where I got it from. I know I got some other paint markers somewhere in my stash and I have no idea what happened to them. So I have to go back through and see what I can find. So I'm going to be gentle and try just to get the tops of each of those raised characters and vines. Just get the top layer. Kind of like what you would do when you're using an embossing folder. So that hopefully we'll be able to read this better but not have it go down onto the rest of the wax. So I went into my stash and this is, I believe um, from one of the club kits two years ago, I actually had put together a couple of extra bathing beauties. I think this was June, 2022, not 100% sure, but I would say look and see what you have in your stash when you're wanting to put together some of your cards. I mean, you've probably done like I did, where you make extras, like I just did here, yeah. Um, you make extras and then you don't use them right away and then you forget you have them. So I am trying to go back into my stash and see all the things. This is also something from my stash, but not quite so old. This one is um, from the Sketched Lines Glimmer Plate. This is the reverse that I just did on another video. So you'll have to check that out. I'll be sure to leave a cart up here for you guys. I think this turned out so lovely and it works great to be kind of, sort of, sunset. 
So this is my thought of the, is that this is kind of an abstract, but it is basically her sitting on the beach. Let's see if I can get it centered. To do that, let's also add a little liquid glue to the back. Give us a little wiggle room, right? There we go, and then we can pop her up right about there, and she's already got foam on the back. That's something that I did, like I said, back when I made this to begin with. I had, I made a few extra little embellishments and she's all ready to go. Except I do need a little bit more foam down at the bottom of her since she's gonna be kind of hanging off the edge. Let's see, where do I want to put her? Don't need quite this much, so let's cut it in half. Then we're gonna add our sentiment on here. I do still have those big glue dots, but I think this time I'm just going to use my liquid glue since I have it handy. And I just put a big circle of that here. and pop our gilded sentiment down. And yeah, that is mostly it. I do still have, I made some more of those little, of those little um, wax dots. I do love these guys. These are so cool. So I'm gonna add a few of those, I think, to the cart as well. And that is going to finish up that card. So you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.